Good afternoon, I'm Tom Tucker with the latest on the hijacking crisis. As you can see, I've taken off my blazer to show the severity of the situation. We understand the plane has been found by satellite. It's apparently veered off its flight plan and is headed for Las Vegas. The government, fearing the worst, is considering shooting it down. Now here's an over-the-top news graphic. Nightmare over Vegas. Hijack Jackpot. Oh, look, there's one guy who slept through this whole thing. Hey, buddy, wake up. We're all about to die. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, I thought I should wake you up. Nobody wants to die in their sleep. Oh, my God! No! I have a family! There you go. <laughs> Only a few more minutes until your country pays for its imperialistic sins. Us? What about you? Like, like, how come you Eastern European guys can't be quieter in pornos? I mean, nobody's ever been like, yeah, yeah, more guy noises. They ask us to do that to cover up the sound of children playing nearby. Now shut up and get ready to die. So, uh, you ever been to Vegas before? No. Well, I think you're gonna flip for it! Yeah! Attention, passengers, the plane... Oh, come on! Doesn't anybody pay attention to the sign? That was some quick thinking, Glenn. And look, even that plane with all the missiles is impressed. Missiles? That's a military fighter jet! He's here to shoot us down! Or she... What? They must think the hijackers still control the plane! And our communications are jammed, so we can't even tell them everything's okay! Don't worry, I'll signal to them. Hey! We knocked out all the bad guys! See? We don't need your help. We kicked their asses and we have their guns. I've got a visual on the terrorists. They've got a hostage in a blue shirt with a white collar. He must be an important businessman. Copy that. Prepare to engage. Oh, good. He's moving away. No, he isn't. He's getting in position to fire. He thinks we're gonna crash into the strip. Everybody in your seats! Frank Caliendo does a five o'clock show. Quagmire, land this plane. We've been hit. Oh, God, this is it. We're gonna die. Like hell we are. We're gonna make it. No, we're not. Ah! Oh, yeah, right there. That's good. And now to discharge the plane's fire retardant. Giggity. Wow, Quagmire, thanks for saving all of our lives. We're sorry for saying your job was easy. Yeah, you're the best damn pilot in the world. He's right. What you did up there was amazing. Thanks, guys. That means a lot. Boy, that was quite a trip, wasn't it? Sure was. And we learned a lot about blue jeans, didn't we, guys? Yes, yes, we did. That's yeah. right, Peter. Thank you for planning a wonderful day. Dad, I was really worried, so I pulled a record of your credit card purchases in San Francisco, and I saw some things I think you'd prefer to keep private. We'll talk later, Chris. I think we will. I do believe we will. Well, let's head home. I know I, for one, am ready to put all this behind us. Sounds good. Oh, yeah, in case we didn't say, this was Spirit Airlines. <laughs>